In this video on C Sharp Basics, let's do a demonstration of logical operators. So here inside of our main method, let's go ahead and create an int variable. We're going to call it x and assign it an initial value of 5. Now on the next couple of lines, let's go ahead and do a console.writeLine and then a console.readLine. And inside of the right line, let's write out some logical operators and some relational operators to work on uh, and see what the results are. So let's go ahead and add a little space here just to make things a little easier to read. And let's say, um, we'll do inside of our own parentheses, let's say x is greater than 5 and x is less than 10. Okay, so right now what we're saying is inside of these parentheses is one condition to check for. So this x is greater than 5 and x is less than 10 is actually one full condition to be checking and return back a true or false result. And the true or false result is going to be determined by this double ampersand or and. Okay, and that's going to determine whether or not this is going to be true or false. Is this condition true? And is this con condition true? If both of those conditions are true, then we will get a true result back from the and. And since that's what's going to return back as this single condition that comes back from within these parentheses, that should give us our result on our right line. Let's go ahead and run the application. So the result of our relational and logical operators is a false boolean result and that's of course because since x is equal to 5 and it's not greater than 5 that means that this first condition is a false condition and since both of these two conditions on the either side of the ampersands need to both be true in order for the ampersands to return a true result and one of them being false then our entire result is going to be false so let's try a different logical operator I'm going to go ahead and replace the double ampersands with double pipes. This is the OR operator. So let's go ahead and run this one. This time the result of the OR operator is true. And that's because even though X is not greater than 5 for our first condition, the OR operator allows the second condition to be true in order to return a true result. And since 5 is less than 10, then our result is true. Now let's try adding a little complexity. Let's chain some of our logical operators together. So this time, outside of our parentheses, I'm gonna go ahead and do an, a double ampersand and say that x needs to be either greater than or equal to, let's say four. So we're chaining these relational operators and the logical operators together. So anything, if either of these two conditions inside the parentheses uh, causes the OR operator to return a true result, then this first condition would be true on the left side of our double ampersand or the AND operator. And if that is true, AND this second condition of X is greater than or equal to four is also true, then this double ampersand or AND operator should return a true result. Let's go ahead and take a look. So the results of our equation here are true. And that's of course, since five is in fact less than 10. And we already established that uh, when we're looking at this or operator inside of these parentheses, that we get a true result. We also check to see if five is greater than or equal to four. And since it is, our result is true. Let's go ahead and chain another logical operator. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this also in parentheses. But I'm going to add inside of these parentheses another logical operator, and we're going to go with another AND operator. This time, we're going to go ahead and say x has to be uh, less than or equal to 4. So really, we're saying x needs to be equal to 4, right? We're saying uh, x has to be both greater than and equal to 4, or x has to be less than or equal to 4. And obviously, x can't be any other number than 4 in that particular case. And here we see that the result of our different logical and relational operators is a false 
result. And that's, of course, since the uh, last operator that we just added here, the x is less than or equal to 4. And since both of these two conditions need to be true inside of these parentheses, this ampersand, uh, this double ampersand or and operator is going to return a false. And since this is false, and we have this double ampersand also saying that both this condition and this condition have to return true results in order for this amp double ampersand, oops, excuse me, this double ampersand to return a true result. And, and since this condition over here on the right is returning a false result, that means this entire equation is returning a false result. So I hope I didn't lose anybody. That's, that's uh, the chaining of logical operators can become very complicated, but it gives us a very powerful tool for setting up multiple conditions and multiple possibilities uh, that we will use later on as part of our control flow to determine the code that ends up being ran.